everybody. Welcome back. This is part three of our loaded paper bag. I have uh, went ahead and started filling it in because um, there was really nothing too complicated. You know, I've saved a couple of little things that we'll do together in this section. Um, but I wanted you to get a better idea of what we are trying to achieve. It's starting to get bulked out. So... What I've done, let me give you a close-up, there's the little butterfly with the pin, and that did hold it, the glitter glue held that, so that's great to know. And then in here, I've just done a tiny little tag that I stamped, and then I've cut this out from something in the back, so I just added an eyelet and some twine there. And you saw me do this pocket. Again, there's just the tiny little plain notepad. I've added just these simple little tags. This is using chapter ones. They've got she's got an embroidery fussy cut kit, and then this is one of her kits. And I can't recall which one this is, but I love these tags because they've got the old uh, vintage images on them. So that's tucked into the first pocket. On the second pocket, all I've done here is just added, again, this is working with Chapter 1. I've added a couple more um, bits from my stash. Um, chapter 1 and my porch prints. And then, like I said, antique papery because they all coordinate really, really nicely together. So I've just made two little pockets here, and I changed direction because I want these bits of lace to be showing on the sides. Inside here we've got another tag that's been added, another little um, vintage postcard I've stitched around, added some trim, and then here is another little tiny envelope that I put a journal card inside there. So even though this isn't a journal, you can see that there's still lots of places for somebody to make notes with that. Okay, and then so now I'm at this point, and what I did here was I went ahead and just glued this tag just because I like the way that that's peeking out. And so, you know, keeping that in mind when you place things. And again, these are just more pieces from my stash. Here's this pocket. That's the little uh, mini file folder. I've just added a little fussy cut there. These haven't been, I haven't done anything to these yet, but that I will do in time, adding laces and things. It's just mostly getting these um, things at the height that I want so that it's it's going to have a lot of interest. And so here I've just added some more lace, did some stitching on that journal card. And then this is the one I took along one of the large index cards and I just cut that heart out and then I stamped inside of it. And then here I've just done a little tiny collage as you could see. And I like that because there's room to do some writing back here, but I just think it's kind of sweet. And so that's there. And again, I haven't done anything to these. I just put them in there because I know I need to do something to them. And then here I've added more plain elements that I can decorate, and I just think it's going to look really pretty. So the plain journal... All I have done is just add a little bit of um, collaging to the front of that. I'll probably, with this, add two pockets. I think what I'll do is two large pockets on the, on the inside of that. And I might do some stamping on the pages, but it will be very, very simple. Uh, I've got these two pockets. Now, these are some... Um, journal cards that I've already had made, so I'm going to tuck those in. So again, more writing space. And so now, 
Let me set that to the side. This is a freebie from my porch print. If you go, go onto her website, you can get this. Now, I normally will put two of these to a page to, to size them down, but this is how they print out as they come. And I thought it would be fun to make a large window journal card out of this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get these cut out. I've used these um, to make journals, little um, journal cards. They're just so sweet. I love the house shape. Okay, so let me see. Let me go ahead and cut this other one out quickly, and we will get started. I may have to trim this up afterwards, but <clears throat> get my big shot over here. And now, let's see, what do we want to do with this? Um, kind of like the idea of one of the large butterflies in the window of this, if I can manage it. If not, I may have to go to a smaller one. Yeah, I'm going to take these and um, cut out a shape here. Got those together. I hope that's that looks pretty even. So I'll keep those and, and make some little journal cards with those. Now you guys have seen me work with this before. I, I really like this. It's cake, cake collar. Um, in case you're just joining for the first time. And you can get this on eBay or Amazon, or if you've got a good um, <clears throat> restaurant supply, they should have that as well. Sorry, I'm going to have to put two of these. I don't know. My brain is still on vacation, I think. Alright, let me get that down. 
And then Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is cut these out so that they're, when you turn the card over, I'm going to try to get these to match up so that you've got the image on both sides is what I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping this is going to work. I haven't tried this yet, but. Yeah, I don't know. Thinking about it, I bet this is going to, is probably, <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to worry about it. It's close enough. All I'm going to do is ink around the edges because it's, it's close enough that there's not going to be a lot of white showing, but I will ink that up quickly just to make sure. Okay, happy with that. Other little bit of acetate down. Okay, I think it's almost time to refill to refill my glue. Let me see if I can finish up with this. I'm liking this glue, the tacky glue, but 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 it is bothering me 
the grip, you know, because I'm starting to have trouble with that thumb. And somebody on the, you know, the uh, Fabri-Tac has recommended their cake. Hmm. cake decorating bottles or something, but I don't know if it will work with this because they use it for the Fabri-Tac glue, but this is thinner than that, so I'm not sure if you guys know anything about whether or not that, it's, I think they're Sugar Craft or something bottles, if that will work on that Eileen's. I'm really curious about that because, um, you know what, I'm going to put just a little drop of glue there. I'm very curious because I haven't ordered them for that reason. I'm afraid that that's just too thick and it's not gonna it's not gonna work with it. But gosh, I really do need to find a solution on this glue because the the smell of the Fabri-Tac is just it's causing too many problems for me. But this <laughs> is bothering my grip. <laughs> oh, so hopefully I'll. Sorry about that guys, the battery ran out on my uh, camera, so uh, while it was, <clears throat> when I changed over, I just went ahead and stitched around, and now you can see I've added just a little bit of fabric with some lace as a little chimney there, and I've just got this little cut out, this again, my porch prints, and I'm just going to add that down here just for a little bit more interest. try to break up a little bit of this um, area. It just seems a little bit plain. Okay. So I think I'm going to add that to this section here. And again, I've still got these to finish off, but I think that's going to be pretty there. <clears throat> Another thing I've done... Um, I had decoupaged the snack pin ages ago, so I've turned that into a journal card. Just added a little tab, and I'm going to tuck that back here into that pocket. Okay, so I think that's where we're going to stop with this now, and then I'm going to gather up a few more things because I know I want to add this guest check to it. So I'm going to take a break now, and then I'll come back with the with the final um, part in this series. I hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'll be back soon. Bye.